Hi everyone. Welcome to hashtag time for art. Now I am, this is our Friday night, well I'm Friday morning hop and I, it is, I challenge you to. So my challenge for all of you is I challenge you to make a supply style journal and send it to a friend. So I gathered a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna go for it. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I have moved into, for those of you that don't know, I live in Hawaii and I have moved into a temporary space. A lot of stuff's going on in my life and maybe at some point soon I'll be able to tell you all about it. But right now it's like, ugh, you know, have you ever just like you're sick of your own self? So. I'm using a file folder, and this, I think, came from the Target dollar spot like a million trillion years ago. And if you've never made a supply style journal, that's a, that's a type of journal um, that you would, you know, put all the things that maybe somebody else might want to use in their artwork or you. And um, so you don't really sew anything in. So I've just gathered some bits and pieces from my collection of stuff, and believe me, I have a lot of stuff. And I'm just gonna put it all in. And what I think I'm gonna do is just try and play and have fun. So, so for those of you that don't know, I live in Hawaii and I am, my partner and I are at some point in the very, very, very near future moving to the mainland. But our daughter is still in school here, and we've had a lot of things that have transpired recently that have caused us to just move into a temporary, well, we don't know how long, space, and then wait till school ends. So I was, you know, I've lived in Hawaii about a dozen years, and my partner has his dad has a type of memory care issue called FTD, frontal temporal dementia. And I have to tell you, he's been visiting, he's been with us, he, he can't live alone. And he's been with me and my partner now for since January, or maybe a little before, I think January. I think it's been since January. And it, I have to tell you, it's been incredibly difficult and yep so it's been a really difficult time for all of us here but we're doing our best and we're hanging in there you guys it's super late at night here where i live and you can hear there's all these little kids outside i don't know if you can hear them but i can hear them they're fussing or they're they're out and about with their little toddler style boys that live across the street from me boy are they <laughs> They're raucous. They're like having it out. So anyway, I um, I suddenly had to move because they sold the house I was living in, and I thought we were just gonna just move right to the mainland. But some stuff has come up that it just hasn't really worked out like that. I tried to gather like bits and pieces of stuff that I want to use, that I like, that I appreciate. Now I have made, how many of you guys have saved these book jackets? And I've actually made a few journals from book jackets. I have them here. I was looking through my stuff and these are some book jacket journals that I've made. Some little junk journals from the book sleeves. So that's another way if you wanted to like utilize your, you know, use up your stuff. So... So I'm adding this into the into the mix. And I have all sorts of like bits and pieces and papers and stuff. I think what's really fun about a supply style journal is it's like a free-for-all. And you know what you have, somebody else doesn't have. And so like you may be like over whatever you're using, you maybe like, I'm really over that. But to the person that receives it, they don't have it. So they're not over it like you are. <laughs> so. So right now I am 
I'm going through like all kinds of like dealing with all the stuff I've collected over the years and I've, I've let go of a lot of it. I will be frank and honest with you. I've let go a lot of a lot of what I've collected, but you know, after a while, sometimes you get down to the part where you, where you just have, you have an excess, even after you've let it go. I can only speak for myself. You have an excess of, of whatever it is, right? And that's the part I'm in right now. I mean, I have stuff that I've loved and just treasured and used over and over again as art supplies and just cool, fun stuff. And, yeah. It's been good, and it's also been, like, daunting. I don't know how many of you guys have collected stuff, and you go, I just have a lot of stuff. That's me. I have a lot of stuff. I have like bits and little bits and pieces, so we'll see how that goes. So I have given and received many of these supply style journals, and I have to say for myself, I use the bits and pieces over and over and over again and really enjoy them. I don't know how many of you guys feel that way, but I certainly do. I feel like I've used them, enjoyed them. Like, this is great. Like, this looks like junk mail, but look at the patterning on the inside. Look at this really cool little yellow um, vellum. That would be super cool as it, and using it in an ATC. Maybe I'll make some, some envelopes. That might be a good thing. Maybe this is a, a calendar page. Let's see. Maybe I'll make a couple of envelopes out of it so I hope you guys are all doing well I know this time has been so trying for so many of us um, you know I feel really fortunate that um, I've been able to like quarantine mostly with my family and not really have to venture out Although I recently did start back to work for you, uh, and that's been a whole new di new dynamic. <laughs> so for those of you that have been braving, let me see, what do I want? So for those of you that have been braving the the pandemic on the on the front on the you know the front lines, I really appreciate you so much because I've been fortunate enough not to have to do that until as of recently and yeah I'm grateful I am super grateful that I haven't had to be out there and for those of you that have I really appreciate you so I'm just going to make a couple little envelopes I may glue them down somewhere inside there that I'm just going to make them let's see let me see what else has been going on with me. Um, let's see. What can I tell you guys? Well, we moved into our new temporary house, which I really love. You guys, it's fabulous. And I have a, I have a space to art. Although I'm not arting in that space tonight because I don't have it quite set up. But I will hopefully soon. And um, let's see how many things I have in this thing so far. Let's see. Hopefully I'll be able to give you guys a really cool little little update and a little show and tell of my, my new little art space. It's really fabulous. I really love it. It um it I have lots of space and it's most for the most part really quiet back there, but tonight when I was gonna try and film the video, it wasn't. You know, when you live in a, where I live now as opposed to where I lived before, I have a closer proximity of neighbors. So, um, yeah, I have no control over, like, the loudness or anything like that. Not that you have that control anytime, but I really don't have it right now. So, I want to give a big shout out to Miss Maridel Abrams. 
and tell her thank you for putting together these fun, fun hops. They are so fun and you know, it's kept me connected even in small ways to the community and I'm grateful for that because sometimes when my life, I don't know about you guys, but when my life gets to be a little too much, I, you know, I don't make time so much to art or to do the things that bring me joy and having a focus like this hop really forces me personally to, um, to take time for myself. This is like a really cool wallpaper. It's like, it actually has like a, like a, like a felty kind of feeling, like a texture. It's really quite cool. Almost like, you know, did you ever see those paintings of Elvis on velvet? Like, kind of like that. Okay, let's see. It's getting there. It is totally getting there. All right, let's see. How many more pages am I going to put in? Or maybe what I'll do is I'll do two signatures. That I totally can do. Let's see. I can do two two signatures. I didn't think about that. Great, though. So I'll just fold up a whole other signature right next to it, and then we'll see where that goes. So back to my moving saga. So we are moving. I just don't know exactly where, and I don't know when. A lot of personal things have come up from my partner and his family, and they were kind of a little bit unexpected. So we didn't necessarily... It wasn't something we planned on. I mean, we planned on moving, but um, just maybe a little bit longer out into the into the ethers than we thought. And yeah, and maybe just a little bit further out into the ethers than than even we anticipated. And we are we're just doing our best, just trying to get through it. And so they sold the house that we'd been living in for about seven, eight years. Our former landlord was going through a divorce, so that was sad for him, and he needed to sell the house. And for those of you that don't know, I live in Maui, and real estate here does not last. It, ha it goes by fast. I mean, really fast. So, um, not only does it go by fast, but it's super expensive. So I thought we would leave sooner, and then some stuff came up with our daughter in school. She's in the eighth grade. So we decided we would try and stay until she finishes school, and she finishes school in June. So that's our goal right now, to stay till June. And then I don't know where we're gonna go. I don't know if we're gonna head, we thought we were gonna head to the East Coast, but there's been like a lot of um, stuff going on with my partner's dad that I told you about that's here with us, which I have to say has been so challenging. Um, but I don't know, so I'll keep you guys updated. On where I go and what I'm doing. But for right now, my cool little new house is awesome and I have a great little art space. And I took a temporary job. So we'll see how that goes. I'm I'm working working for a a development company, like a land developing company, development company, and we'll see how that ventures into the next into the next wild blue yonder. <laughs> you guys, I love, I, for whatever reason, I don't know why, maybe you guys can like pipe in the comments, but I really love um, patterned envelopes, you know, the these security envelopes. I have a thing for them. So, for no reason, but I do. And I have all kinds of collections of them. I've made, I've taken them and I've made collages with them. I have um, 
done all kinds of things. Collage and used them in my mixed media. I've made die cuts with them. I have um, I've done all kinds of cool stuff with it. So those I'll put in at the end. So are you guys all getting ready for spring? Your springing, your spring cleaning, your spring, spring gathering. I've been, I feel like I've been spring cleaning for like months, ever since we made the conscious decision to, to move. And I still have too much stuff. You know, it's like ridiculous how much stuff I have. And I've given away, sold donated, you name it, I've done it. All sorts of, all sorts of kind of, I have all the little bits and pieces, I have lots of little bits and pieces to put in here, but I've got to make it like, i got to get the basics. If you, ha if, if you don't know, you've got to get the basics of your space, of your thing down first, and then you add pockets, tucks, you can add paper clips. I just, I don't know what I have all over here with me. I just grabbed a pile of my, I need to deal with stuff. Here, let's see how many of this is in here. This is a super fun way though to share your stash if you have friends that maybe they, you know, they maybe they would like some of your like little bits and bobs and odd pieces or what do we have like I don't know about you guys but I certainly have my load of my share of uh of extras that's for sure and I'm just gonna bind it with uh some ribbon or I have some really cool ribbons right here I'm just gonna bind it with some ribbon and then maybe stuff the pockets. I've got all these little bits and pieces. Maybe stuff the pockets with that. I don't know. I don't know. But it's a super fun way. I think it's a super fun way to share your stash. And I challenge all of you to share your stash with somebody else just like this. Let me think of other things I can tell you guys. Let's see. Um, it's been crazy rainy here, which we've needed. But when people come to visit, and there have been a load of sudden load and influx of tourists, um, that you know, it's it's one of those things where you have to like. People are really super disappointed about coming to Hawaii when it rains, but we can't do anything about that. Um, we've needed the rain really badly, so I'm excited. I'm happy for it. I mean, not happy for the people that come here wanting good weather and we're not getting it, but happy for us, those of us that live here. <laughs> um, had to dig up all my plants from my last house and they're kind of in my garage. I gave some of them away, but some of them are hanging out in my garage, which is a whole nother thing, right? Because I have to figure out where I'm going to replant them or if I'm going to replant them or what I'm going to do. So I know some of you are going like, what are you going to do with those images? Well, you know, for me, I love to collage. And so some of these, like this hands holding this well, let's see what it is. It is a, a breadfruit, an ulu. I think that would be great in a collage. Great in a, as a center focal point or as a piece of, of part of the artwork, right? I think it adds something different because, you know, we all live in such different diverse areas. It's kind of cool to, um, or a little bit of you of wherever you are. 
Oh my gosh, this, see, I told you guys I saw a collect all those envelopes, those um, security envelopes. And look at some of the cool patterns in them. Aren't they cool? This would be great in a black and white journal. Right? At least I think so. Used them. I've made little mini books with these. With uh, you guys have watched my channel for very long. You can go back and find it. We made a, some mini books with the pattern envelopes, which I really like a lot. Let me just figure out how I'm going to let's see. It's getting kind of chunky. kinds of ribbons over here with me to use. This one I think is, is the best, but I also brought some purple tulle. And if I find some, which I don't know where, but if I find some paper clips, I will maybe make some paper clip embellishments. This is all there is to it, you guys. I mean, I'm gonna add some bits and pieces, little bits and pieces on the inside, like some playing cards or some, you know, little things that I think are cool. I'm gonna add those to it, but you guys, this is like, there's no rules. When you're giving a supply style journal, there are no rules. You make it up as you go along. So I think that makes it like super, like even more fun when you're, because there's, you know, the, the sky's the limit. Maybe you've collected textiles and you want to like gift some textiles or maybe you've um, collected a ton of napkins or you collected doilies or whatever it is your thing is you know mine happens to be i love to make art from recycled bits and pieces but maybe you that isn't your jam maybe your jam is something different so whatever your jam is you include that in your that's your supply style journal you know so for me i love i love making these journals i love giving these journals it's like, you know, it's like sharing a little, a few pieces of your treasures, like things that you've loved, things that you've treasured, at least in my world. So, and then the fun begins after I tie it all together. I get to go back and I get to like find all the bits and pieces, make some paper clip embellishments, maybe, um, I don't know. I'll see what I find. I've got so, oh, you guys have collected so many cool things. Things I think are cool, too cool to like, um, just let go of, so, yeah, and that's where I'm going, girls, that's what's going on with my, in my world. So, I totally challenge you all to make your own, make and give away your own supply style journal. Okay, I'm gonna have to make that tighter. I think I've had this grow, I think I've had this grow green ribbon for like I don't know <laughs> a really long time it looks like it was like it was like very inexpensive so I must have like bought it who knows 15 20 years ago <laughs> oh. I told you guys I have a little few too many supplies so Keep adding to it like so you wouldn't have to do this in one sitting you could do it if you're like me and you have lots of lots of junk hanging out like lots of cool bits and pieces 
this is the beginning. So this is the beginning. I don't know if you can see the spine very well. I may want to go back and face the spine. This is the beginning of my supply style journal. So now I get to put cool stuff in the pockets. And I have a ton of cool bits and pieces. Look at this. This is called Zombie Zombie Apocalypse. Somebody, I don't know who sent it to me, but I have a bunch of it. Some flashcards from my my daughter when she was like little. See, I save all kinds of weird bits and pieces. How many of you guys do? Do that many of you save some weird bits and pieces? I do. I love the weirder the bits and pieces, the better off for me. <laughs> That's just my thing. And if you go through and you just keep adding like little bits and pieces, it really starts to take on a personality of its own and it really starts to be fun and, you know, just make it your own. Like, do your own thing. It's like super fun. You can add your own bits and pieces and your own. Like, I have some napkin bits and pieces, some ones that I've stamped on, some ones that are just. You can use her collage. No rules. This is my favorite concentric circle stamp. How many of you guys have one of those? They're for by I think I got it's from Hero Arts. And I've loved it. I've used it in so many of my collages and different things. I love that. So some of my bits and pieces that are stamped. Oh, there's I can put some stuff in this pocket. You know what's cool is that when you're giving people bits and pieces of you, it becomes like you're like part of their artwork. Isn't that cool? At least that's how it works in my head, but I don't know. You guys can pipe in and tell me what you think. Let's see. I've got these two things going on so far. So this is my challenge. I challenge you all to make a supply style journal. I'm gonna keep add to it. And if you guys come back and watch the next video, I'll show you how I finish it. All right, my lovelies, head down to the description box below. Head on over and Check out who's next in the lineup. I miss you guys so much. And now, as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Take good care of yourselves, you guys. Until next time, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> and big hugs to all the ladies in this hop. And thank you, Mary, for always being so loving and supportive to all of us. Till next time, you guys. Big hugs and kisses from my heart to your heart. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>